In today's Leeds news, Leeds United under-18s progress in the FA Youth Cup. Updates on injuries to Tyler Adams, Robin Cock, Diego Llorente and Junior Firpo. Incoming rumour with Empoli left-back Fabiano Parisi linked. LAFC midfielder Jose Fuentes says his goodbyes ahead of Leeds link. And Mark Jackson on the list of potential MK Dons managers. Hey, folks, Jer here on Wednesday with your Leeds news. A little bit floating around, nothing major, but we'll, uh, we'll move on from the disappointment of uh, Matthias Kuna moving to Wolverhampton Wanderers. 50 million in the end was the fee that was reported. And I would, uh, I don't think it's too much of an exaggeration to say, probably way outside of Leeds' price range, if we're being honest, when you see a 50 to 60 million obligation on the Wolves deal. So, um, so we can see what happens to strikers, won't we? we have to have fingers crossed we get somebody. So let's just talk, and we start off with the Legion out under 18, who had a really good result yesterday, beating Accrington Stanley 3 2 in the FA Youth Cup. They were 2 0 down and didn't have to come behind to get the 3 2 win, but that shows huge character and a fantastic start to the FA Youth Cup journey for the under 18 team. So well done to them. Uh, moving on, some injury updates, and just talking about Tyler Adams very briefly, and he was asked about. A knock or an injury that's been keeping him out of the training since he's come back from the World Cup. And what he basically said is, it's nothing major. It was a little knock that he picked up in the last game and that he's just been asked to sit out. When asked about it, this is exactly what he had to say. I'm just coming back from a little bit. It's not bothering me anymore. I feel good. I feel sharp. I would be training. But Jesse's saying, take all the time that you need. If you can right now, it's an opportunity. And it is. It's important to make sure these guys are fresh coming into the Man City game and that we don't bring them back in and throw them straight back into high tempo stuff immediately. You've got to mind these players as well as train them. So it's a balancing act and um, hopefully they're getting it right so far. He will be a massive player for us when the second half of the season returns. There's a lot of games coming up and be a lot of midweek games as well. So important to look after these players as well. Um, some incoming news and previously linked left back Fabiano Parisi has been talking about the links with Leeds United in the Premier League. And he said that he's very pleased to be linked with clubs. There's some mixed reactions on this. The player himself has had this to say about the link. I'm very pleased that great clubs are following me, but today I am concentrating on only on Empoli. We will talk about the transfer market in June, which is what you'd expect a player to say if they're being linked with another club. That I'm focused on this team, I'm not looking at going anywhere else. Blah, blah, blah. We'll see what happens. However, his agent, uh, Mario Giuffredi, has said the opposite not that long ago when he said that the player could leave in Ju in January as a, he's a talented player, there is interest in him, and he could move as early as January or possibly end of the season, keeping that door open. Um, but a left back, a left back Leeds have been linked with a player who now looks like he's interested in look coming to Leeds if there is any strong links there and not just rumoured links. So, um, We'll have to wait and see. Uh, another player, and this is much more loose, loosely kind of linked, a player that was linked during the summer with Leeds, and uh, LAFC and new Ecuadorian midfielder Jose Sufuentes has been linked again with Leeds. And according to Sports Witness, Sufuentes said his goodbyes to the LAFC players at the end of their campaign, despite having 12 months left on his contract. Sufuentes has been linked with Leeds a couple of times, <clears throat> and um, is a player that Jesse Marsh is rumoured to like, so... Again, it's the midfielder, and we've said before about midfielders, I don't see midfielders coming into Leeds unless it's a four-shot and click leaving and replacing because there is a lot of midfield options there, which we haven't had before. Um, talking to people who potentially could leave the club, and according to Alan Nixon, the journalist is saying that Mark Jackson is on the short list of the MK Dons final list of potential managers to take over the role there. Jacko has had a fantastic time at Leeds. He's been in a coaching role at Leeds since 2020 and has managed the under-23 side and we saw that through Academy Dreams um, and has done a great job progressing those under-23 players through into the Leeds first team. He then moved on to join Jesse Marsh's backroom staff and is a key part in that, that bridge between the young players coming in to the senior setup and has done a fantastic job for Leeds <clears throat> and it would be a shame to see him leave if, if, if he does. Um, but again, according to Alan Nixon, uh, Jacko is on the list of potential MK Dons managers. Great for him. Great, great for him to get that as well. Because you know we've seen uh, other coaches that Leeds have had move on to better jobs as well, and you've seen the likes of um, Carlos Corbran now doing a really good job at West Brom, and, and not surprising at all. So, um, good coaches in the Leeds setup. Moving on for first team jobs now. It'd be great to see that. But um, like to hang out to Jacko as long as we can. That'd be great to see. Uh, and then a brief injury update on a few other people. On the back of the training session yesterday, Stuart Dallas has popped up again. And according to um, a source who has told MOT Leeds News, uh, Stuart Dallas is ahead of schedule on his return from a broken femur that he picked up again against Manchester City last season. Um, he was expected to miss most of this season, if not the entire year. But according to this uh, source, 
Dallas is ahead of schedule, training on the grass, and is pushing to get back in Jesse Marsh's first team plans for the remainder of the season. Um, take it easy, Dally. We don't want you coming back and getting injured straight away. Uh, this is a big injury. He's an absolute machine. We know he is. Um, and it would be great to have him back in Leeds um, to add more competition around the park because he can pretty much play anywhere. Uh, and then finally, just to finish up, a very, very, very short um, update on injuries to Robin Cock, Diego Llorente and Junior Fripper, who all trained in the public training session in Ellen Road yesterday. Looked like a fantastic day yesterday. I was trying to get to it myself. And when I went to get the tickets on the Leeds website, it said that they were gone. And I couldn't. Um, the joys of being a Leeds member and you still can't get things when you want to get them. And um, the plan was to do that and Monaco tonight. So didn't get that. Didn't get the flights I wanted. Didn't get to go. Boom. Um, that's a shame. It looked, didn't look remotely full. I'm sure there was tickets, but unfortunately not to be. But um, great to see Cock, Urente and Ferpo training. And um, let's just keep Junior in a you know bubble wrap for as long as we can until we get we get back to the Premier League season and we might need him. Um, and that's pretty much it for today, folks. Slow news day, not a lot going around. Always the same when there's a match on. If you are heading over to watch the game tonight, safe travels. If you're going to it, enjoy yourself. Uh, last preseason, too friendly before we get back into the, the real thick of things and start worrying about Erling Haaland um, doing horrible, horrible things to our back four. Um, enjoy the game. It is on LUTV tonight, 7 o'clock. Um, we'll talk about it tomorrow, no doubt. Have a great evening, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. See you. Bye.